Stuart McMillan, followed by Edward Mountain. Uh, thank you, Presiding Officer. Uh, the progress on the remote electronic monitoring programme is welcome, and can the Cabinet Secretary say a bit more about the timescale of the programme uh, becoming operational and how is that going to work on the vessels? Cabinet Secretary. I, well, I won't repeat what I said earlier, but the aim is to apply the equipment. Firstly, to scallopers, there are, I think, 114. I think around 20 already have them, um, and the, uh, the contractors will work, if you like, around the coast, uh, starting from Shetland, going around to the Hebrides, uh, going around the west coast, and the aim is to complete that section of the work around the end of the year, or by the end of the year, if at all possible, and then work on the other vessels that are, are, are to be subject to the uh, scheme. Um, there's a lot more information I can give because there are various components. There's fitting the equipment, there's testing it, there's making sure it works, there's licensing it, there's checking that the data transmitted from the vessel to Marine Scotland is operating correctly and can be monitored correctly. There's training in the use of it. So like anything new, presiding officer, this is not necessarily a straightforward process. It will take time, but I'm very confident that next year we will be able to say that we have introduced something world-leading in inshore fisheries, and uh, that will be a great thing.